live! We're live! Here we are! Woohoo! We love doing these lives with you guys. Now, they're a little far away, so we might not be able to answer the questions, but we're going to try. I'm getting kind of old. I need my binoculars <laughs> so I can see. But thank you for joining us today. We are so excited. Number one, we're hungry. It's lunchtime. It's lunchtime. But number two, we're excited to share a recipe that you can find in the Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle. So for those of you who have purchased the bundle already, open Make It Raw 2 and follow along. This is the one that I wrote with Chef AJ. If you haven't bought the bundle yet, go to the link in bio and get it before it's gone because it's only 50 bucks. Yep, yeah, link up, bio, or if you're watching on YouTube, link in the description. Yes. And you can follow along. You can make this recipe with us. Um, some of it we've already prepared because there is a little prep going on um, for this recipe, but it's waiting and ready for us. So yeah, thanks for joining. Yeah, thanks for joining. And like like Lisa was saying, the cameras are a little bit a ways away. Oh, it's so far like, away. So say? it might be a little tricky to see if you do have questions, but I'll run around and make sure we can try to answer your guys' questions. So please feel free to ask questions if you have questions you want us to you know, answer. Mm -hmm. And um, can you see that one? Yeah, how long have you guys been raw vegan? Ooh, Ooh that's good. Yeah, that's a great way to intro this. Yep, definitely. So uh, I'll start. You start. Um, I was rough first, so I might as well start. <laughs> um, we were vegan at the same time, actually. Uh, I went raw vegan in 2014 after 10 years of trying raw, but I was always doing raw the high fat, low calorie way because I was indoctrinated by diet culture that we needed to restrict our calories and we needed a lot of high fat. So I was never able to stick to a raw diet. I was under eating. I just wasn't doing it right. And then in 2014, I tried finally, <laughs> after a decade um, of you know different diets. I did the Weston A. Price thing. I did the raw animal product thing. I did keto. I did candida cleanse kits, like a huge amount of them because I dealt with candida overgrowth <clears throat> and gut dysbiosis for 15 years of my life. So I've done a lot of stuff. I've done fasting and cleanse kits, you name it. And then in 2014, I had heart flutters, so I decided to go raw vegan again. But I didn't have the vegan connection until that day. I watched Cowspiracy, Earthlings, and Forks Over Knives, and I became vegan. And I chose raw because it made the most sense to me. I didn't choose raw because I was scared of cooked food or because cooked food is toxic. I chose raw because I love raw. So I've been a raw vegan now for almost nine years since 2014 and Nate. Yep, and it's been a little over six years for me. Uh, 2017, it was in February. So yeah, we're, we're coming upon maybe six and a half years. Uh, and yeah, amazing. Raw food is so amazing in so many ways. And really kind of what brought me to want to adopt a raw food diet was a couple reasons. Like the, the main reason, really what started it for me was I met this guy I mean, not only did I watch my mom reverse her kidney cancer with raw foods, but I met a guy about eight months later because it was still kind of tricky for me to wrap my head around adopting a raw food diet. But I met a guy in the ski lift who was 86 years old, reversed his colorectal cancer, his stage four colorectal cancer at the age of 42. And he's like, I've been a raw foodie ever since for 44 years. And I'm like, man, that's amazing. And he was just focusing on living foods, whole living foods. And so that made the most sense to me. So I went home that night, binge watched YouTube, trying to figure out like, how can I do this raw food thing? I need to really figure this out. And that's when I found this woman right here, <laughs> raw food romance. It just made perfect sense to me. I was like, oh, she's making, she's, she's creating a loving relationship with her food. And I don't necessarily have the best relationship with my food. Maybe I should tap in and watch more of her videos. So if you're not subscribed to her YouTube channel or to my YouTube channel, come check us out. This is Raw Food Romance, Raw Natty Nate. We've got <laughs> daily videos coming out uh, through the bundle event. Yes. But that's why I went raw. I found her, I saw her recipes, I saw her, you know, she was, she was speaking to me. She was helping me make the change 
um, for the better. And I bought one of her recipe books and my life has been changed ever since. We do have our love story out there on YouTube so you can know a little bit uh, deeper how it all goes out. But realistically, that's kind of like the Reader's Digest version. <laughs> exactly. And somebody on my Instagram was asking if I took any supplements or anything after I went raw to deal with the candida. Really, not really. I did take like random probiotics here with whatever I had left in my fridge. I really didn't do anything specific to get rid of my candida. What I did do was I ate raw plants. I ate them consistently. I ate them in their whole form and I ate a wide variety of them. And this grew my own microbiome and my own microbiome finally was able, it was strong enough to fight off the yeast all by itself. I didn't have to do anything. I just had to feed my body and it was so mind-blowing because I dealt with it for 15 years and yeah. But of course, that's something that doesn't just happen overnight, right? right? Like it does take a little bit of time. You can't expect an issue to go away within 30 days or even 90 days sometimes. It does mm -hmm. take some time, right? Because it did take you a little time for that to kind of overcome. Mm -hmm. did you, can you see that one? Yeah, um, can you do a session with your mom? I can't read mm -hmm. it now, it went up. Let me scroll over. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do a quick little scroll over here just to make sure we're catching these is over here on this one. Yeah. Um, can, uh, it's uh, not Nan. Nan, Nayan, I, I'm sorry if I'm messing your name. Can you do a session with your mom and how she became raw? I want to know her story, hear her story. That's a great one. And now, wasn't she just on? Was, oh, I think they're talking about your mom. My oh, my mom. mom. Yeah, my mom is actually in the bundle, the gentle homeopath. And she is a really high raw plant-based and she had colon cancer. Her Instagram is the gentle homeopath and she's in the bundle. She has a book called My Gentle Kitchen. So if you bought the bundle, you got my mom's book. So yeah, but your mom. Yeah, so yeah. my mom, so now, oops, I, I'm gonna bump, bumping up here. So back here, um, Ermine is saying, is it an expensive lifestyle? Ooh. Is the raw diet an expensive lifestyle? That is a great question. Yeah, we'll get to that, but you can answer the let me one Let first. me just see down here. I want to see, was I seeing? So how long have you guys been around? Okay, cool. We've already got that. Okay. Um, and then we've got here, Raw Intuition Kitchen says, love seeing you guys. Oh, I love you guys. That's our buddy Matt. Matt's in here. Matt and his girl. I don't know if the both of them are in here, but either way, Matt, Matty B. <laughs> Matty B, Raw Intuition. Woo! He's got his book in the bundle too. It's the five-star Salad Revolution book, super epic book, nearly 200 pages of all kinds of amazing stuff. And to address your question about doing an interview with my mom, um, you know, it's kind of tricky with, with parents sometimes, and I don't necessarily, we kind of have a, an estranged relationship. So at this point in time, yeah, they, we're not gonna be doing any interviews together. So sorry about that. But it's just a boundary that had to be set up. So yeah, it's you know we're either trying to way. It, the but, main message yeah. that you need to know is that you don't have to be a raw foodie to very possibly prevent certain things or even reverse certain things. We've watched interviews with people who are not raw foodies who have like there's this guy Mike Fremont who was on Rich Roll's podcast. Yeah, a hundred year old this guy. Hundred year old vegan. He went raw. He didn't go raw. He went vegan when he was sixty, and then he started getting into running marathons and stuff. You know, at his own pace at the age of eighty, and he's not a raw foodie, and he reversed his his cancer mm -hmm. with going plant based, whole food whole plant food, based, plant based, wide variety. Someone was saying, I don't know whose hair I like better. <laughs> I know, hey, isn't it amazing? Thanks, guys. Oh. I wasn't sure whether to put it up because, you know, we're in the kitchen. And when we're doing stuff in the kitchen, a lot of times I put my hair up or I put it back. Um, but we're but having good hair days. We're so why not, right? We're having good hair day. <laughs> and, you know, we're going to keep it as, as clean as we can. And, of course, if we were making food for you, I would definitely put yeah. my hair up. Oh, I'd put a hat on or something because I understand, you know, it's definitely best to have sanitary practices in the kitchen and I appreciate when other people don't have their hair flinging all over stuff but we're gonna eat this food ourselves we're not sharing with anybody out there but hopefully you have got the bundle and you can follow along with us in the make it raw 2 book this is a collaboration book between my wife Lisa and chef AJ this is an amazing book mm -hmm. um, as well as the exclusive collaboration 
appetizer book. That's another really amazing book that is only available in the bundle. You know what else is only available in the bundle? Mm -hmm. Angelica, who did the Yon, oh, Yin Yoga course, right. she just told me yesterday that her course is exclusive to the bundle. You wow. can't get it anywhere else. I didn't realize. Yeah, so you guys, there's exclusive stuff in this bundle, cool. and you're getting everything is brand new. I've had lots of people say like, oh, is everything new yet? Yeah, my wrap book is new, Nate's yeah. kitchen course is new, everything is new. So there's over $1,800 worth of brand new stuff. So if you want all the raw foodies in this bundle, all their new stuff, this is your chance. It's only 50 bucks. Yeah. And link is in our bios and description. And, and we're pretty much at the exact, I want to say the exact halfway point, or maybe that would be tonight. Mm. Either way, we're at the halfway point. There's only, after today, there's only, well, there's six days after today, isn't there? Mm -hmm. So six days left to get this bundle. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. It will not be the same collection of books ever again. Mm -hmm. uh, there, of course, there will be other bundles in the future, but none will be like this. All of this stuff is brand spanking new. So if you have purchased bundles in the past, good on you because bundles are amazing in so many ways, but you don't have any of these products. Mm -hmm. So be sure to go check it out. Yeah, you get my wraps book. You can make some hand salads, Brand new you guys. wraps book. I mean, there's so many amazing books. We, you know, there's 40 of them. So it's hard to, it's hard yeah. to pr pump and promote every single book. There's 40 different products in there, books, courses. I've got over four hours worth of a video course sh leading you through our entire kitchen of everything that we love, links to everything that we use, you know, talking about all kinds of fun stuff, the essentials, knife and a cutting board. That's all you really need. Yeah. And then getting into some of the more fancier things. But that course, my course alone, after the bundle, I'm going to charge $67 for. I feel like that's a pretty fair price. And that right there, I mean, you're getting, you're getting in the bundle, and you're getting 39 other products for yeah. $50. That's it's it. a screaming deal. And it's a great way to support us. If you appreciate mm. our lives that we do and all the help that we give, because we spend hours in DMs <laughs> helping people. Yeah. And if you appreciate that, long. this is a great way to support us. But more importantly, it's a good way to support yourself yeah. And to include more raw food, you don't need to be a raw vegan to enjoy this stuff. Like you're gonna add more raw to your diet. That's the whole point yeah. of the bundle is to help you with more resource, resources, more inspiration, yeah. more fun stuff. And I saw somebody was asking, um, it was not Nate's mom, it was my mom. Um, I did a live with her. We didn't really talk too much about her journey, but that is on my YouTube channel. Um, so you can go check it out and see that. I might do a live with her if we have time and maybe we could go through that, but she's the gentle homeopath on Instagram. So you can message her. I'm sure she'd tell, she'd be happy I, to talk to you. I know that she went live with Wendy and it sounded yes. like, cause I tapped in for a minute there. It mm -hmm. sounded like she was t telling about her story there. So be sure to go to our links, yes. hit the link in the bio and go check out the you, the uh, web page. There's actually a video that Lisa made. She spent like over seven hours on this video. It's like a four minute video. So go give a watch. It really explains the, what the bundle is, how to download everything. You have all of these books forever if you, if you keep them in a safe spot. And on the web page, you can see the live on the right hand side of the web page. I'm like pointing because right it's, up, it's, it's up, up in the there. corner. It's, it's up there. It's up in the corner. <laughs> on the web page, you can see all the lives that are happening throughout this entire event. Mm -hmm. And you can see who's going live with who and what topic they're doing or whether they're doing a food demo. There's lots of food demos going on. And yeah, like Lissa says, you don't have to be a raw foodie. You don't have to be a vegan to enjoy some delicious raw food meals and recipes. You I know, and we all know that we should be eating more plants, more yeah. fiber. Right. So why not get the bundle and you'll learn so much. Like I just did a live with Miriam for mm -hmm. a raw food feast. That was a good one. Her course in the bundle, she's gonna sell it after the bundle for $247. It's worth way more than that. And it's a food freedom course. It really gets you to dive deep and be honest with your intentions as to why you want to do this diet. And you're digging deep into your relationship with food, your relationship with yourself. And it's part of the bundle. You get it when you buy the bundle for just 50 bucks. So yeah. it's so worth it. And and you get, to, you get to be a part of, say, like, her community in a way and Miriam is, is an individual who like basically she's dedicating her life to help you just the same because she's overcome some things and she's learned some tips and tricks 
and she wants to share with you. So when you buy the bundle and you tap into her course and you message her and say, Miriam, I got your bundle or I got the bundle and I'm looking at your course and you know, what do you think about this? Or can you help me with some ideas for this or that? You can connect with us. Yes. You can connect with Miriam. Miriam's an amazing individual and she, she just wants to help you just the same, you know? And I mean, of course, the whole premise of the bundle is to inspire you yes. to eat more fruits and vegetables and to give you the recipes, you know, to teach you what tools you need and how to use these certain tools to make these recipes and have them turn out mwah, perfect every mm -hmm. single time. Right? So. I know Angelica's on my live. Angelica's in the bundle. She's got her Angelique. yoga course. She's eating a hand salad right now. Oh. And Angelica, <laughs> Yoga Liberty is her name. Uh, so be sure to go check her out. Give her a follow. She's kicking out so much value, so much knowledge. She's been, she's dedicated most of her life to yoga. And she, yeah, she has her yin yoga course, a part of the, the bundle as well. And she actually came up and coined the name. Yeah. Hand salad. Thank you, Angelica. Thank you, Angelica. <laughs> Yeah, we were we went hiking with her one day and we made her a, a burger and she's eating the burger and she's like, it's a hand salad. So then we always joke every time we eat burgers, we joke it's a hand salad. And I was like, that would be a really good name for the wrap book. So thank you. Someone's asking in my life, what are some of the things you experienced when you went raw? Mm. Okay, let me see. Some of the things that I experienced was were, you know, better BMs, <laughs> um, weight loss. I wasn't going for weight loss. Of course, it's always nice to trim down a little bit. I was inflamed, so I less inflammation, way less inflammation. A lot of puffy, you know, inflammation in my face and neck. And I've always been kind of a husky dude. So those are the three main things. Um, Better but energy. Also, another thing that people don't really realize is that we're not necessarily doing it for like these amazing right. miracle results. We're doing it for respecting our body and for supporting our body. Longevity. Longevity and I, enjoying quality of right. life. Right? I want to be like the guy, John, that I met on the ski lift. 86 years old, this guy was. And I'm snowboarding, so I had to sit down and ratchet up my boot, and he's like, Phew, gone. <laughs> and I just thought, like, I've always thought growing up, snowboarding i mean my kids grew up on the mountain as well I've, I've always fantasized like man i really hope that i'm able to come and do this when i'm an old guy oh uh, nate H says i just love you too uh, oh we love you guys you. too we love you guys too so really that's that's the main thing like prevention lessening our chances of getting some sort of disease or cancer not that we're going to be uh immune to that right we're not we're not Barbie and Ken dolls. We're, right. human beings. We're human beings. We age, our bodies yeah. change, and we have to learn to love our bodies at whatever shape they are, whatever stage of life we're in, when we get wrinkles and gray hair, to love ourselves. That's our message, right? So to age yeah. gracefully. Age gracefully. You know, mm -hmm. these are the kinds of foods that really are. You know, and I mean, really, like when we break down the the bias and the walls or the dogma, like. It only makes sense that Mother Nature provided us with all these foods, and I know some of them have been grafted and have been um, hybridized and stuff to make you know certain foods more abundant and more readily available throughout the year. But these are the foods that are going to help us age gracefully, and we just want a good quality of life. I we mean, want to have fun. We want to taste good. Yeah, food. man. I want to go hiking when I'm in my sixties, seventies, eighties, nineties, and of course, gotta stay moving. Gotta hydrate. Gotta love ourselves, eat our, eat our raw foods. What do you say? Age here? gracefully and powerfully. Yeah. I love that. With, with yeah. Vitality. And love, self love. Right. A significant part of the regenerative health lifestyle. It's yeah. very important to have a healthy relationship with our food and our bodies yeah. so that we can respect our bodies. Yeah. yeah. So uh, let's get started let's get really going. quick because I know we could talk about let's this get going. forever. Yeah, we're quarter <laughs> But we need to start this recipe with the bloomed rice. So we have some freeze dried rice and it's going to talk about it in a second. But this rice, the reason we're using the freeze dried is because we didn't soak and bloom the rice beforehand. We really wanted to show you guys Can't really show you the close benefit up. of freeze drying your rice. Now you do not need to invest in a freeze dryer to do this. You can use freshly bloomed rice and bloomed rice is basically just soaked 
rice, which isn't actually rice. It's like it's you know, a special. It's yeah, a different a kind, of kind of rice. rice. It's the forbidden rice or black rice, yeah. and you can soak it. And if I mean, really, if you want it to bloom out proper, you can kind of pulse it real quick through a food processor just to kind of score and cut the rice grain a little bit, and then the water will penetrate a little bit better. But we've also, we pick up a lot of tricks from our buddy John Kohler. Yes, thanks John. <laughs> we love you John. Make sure you go check out John OK Raw on YouTube or Growing Your Greens. He's also got discount juicers. I'm sure a lot of you who are tuning in know who he is. He's yeah. an amazing individual. He's been doing this nearly 30 years. But he turned us on to these vacuum sealable lids. And in my in my kitchen course, I go in detail about which is these, in the bundle. Yep, in the bundle. Link in bio. I in show you I show you the freeze dryer and the different things. But what we found, and this came from John, is we're putting a vacuum sealable lid on it and using the pump that comes with the lids. Which of course you guys can, if you grab the bundle, all of the links are in my course. But if you want the links to this particular setup and these lids, just send us a message and say lids please and I'll send you the actual link to just these lids but you vacuum out you just pump out all the air with the water in there with the rice and it actually it actually blooms faster than if you didn't do it under vacuum so everything under vacuum I feel like in so many ways is so much better because it's less oxygen that is getting it's less breaking down so we have bloomed rice and after we bloomed it, we have tried putting it in our dehydrator and we've dehydrated the rice so we can soak it and have like a cold soak on the trail, which is where you just take your meal, pour it in a jar, pour it in some water, throw it in your backpack, hike, come out, and then you're able to eat. Well, the bloomed rice that had been dehydrated wasn't as, um, it, it just, it didn't reconstitute as well as this freeze dry. We just did a bunch, we're like, let's try freeze drying it, which if any of you guys know about freeze drying, freeze drying is amazing. Go check out Harvest Right freeze dryers. They're amazing in yes, so many send ways. Us a, send us a, a DM and say freeze dryer and we can send you a link to the freeze dryer yeah, website. Yeah. We do have an affiliate with them and so you know we do get a little kickback if you buy a freeze dryer through our link or if you buy any of these kind of things through. You know I mean we all got to like make a little bit of money here and there so it really does help us out. So yeah but the freeze dryer is several thousand dollars, a couple thousand to even three, four thousand dollars. It's a big investment, but we want to do it so we can make delicious foods with us to take traveling and on the trail. So this rice here has been bloomed, it's raw, and it has been freeze dried, and it reconstitutes tasting so amazing. Oh my gosh. So, but yeah, like Lisa's saying, you could just simply bloom it in a bowl of water on your counter. You don't need the vacuum lids. You don't need a freeze dryer. We just- These are, are just like bonus. We're just hardcore <laughs> like, geeks with this and we like to geek out so yeah. um, someone's asking where to buy the rice to bloom so the mm. rice that we really like that works really good I'll see if I can grab them. okay it's called forbidden rice nope, from Lotus Foods and again any links to anything just send us a DM we're happy to totally. send you the links send the DM but it's the forbidden rice from Lotus Foods now we've tried blooming various different kinds and this one blooms the best. Works so that's really why we recommend Lotus Foods Forbidden Rice. The Lotus Foods, yeah, just send us a DM. I was gonna try and grab a bag, but our tripods are in front of the pantry <laughs> door and I can't get in there. But, but yes. we need to reconstitute this. So, so while we talk, we can have it soaking. Okay, so let me get you a little close-up sound of this little ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> this here is just under vacuum, and as you can see, you can't really see the, the greatest, but it is bloomed raw rice. It has not been cooked. I'm gonna just pull this tab and listen. <laughs> you could even see them dancing in the right. Yeah. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna reconstitute this. Is this out with this bowl for? Yeah. Okay. So we got a few things laid out. So we're just gonna pour this in a bowl. We're using all this, right? Yeah. We're using it all. And that's our last bit. We <laughs> I need know. To make, we, we need, need to, to make, make more. more. <laughs> um, okay. And then there's water in that little. Yeah. And then we're just gonna pour, it looks like we've got what, a third of a cup? A third of a cup, yeah. It, we might need to add a little bit more. Yeah, you wanna like kind of, you wanna let it soak up what you have and then add water as needed. Cause you don't want it to be all soggy. And then have to read, well, yeah. it, if it is, if you, you do too much, it. you could strain it again, but it's gonna absorb this water and it's going to be the texture. See, that's why we're like, you know, foodies, <laughs> we're really striving to achieve certain textures and certain flavors that are highly palatable because that's what makes food so amazing and that's why processed foods are so cheap and so readily available is because they're highly palatable and they're cheap to make so this stuff here is is uh you know definitely it's it's way better than processed food for sure right so yeah so you could probably show them close up yeah let me get a little close like. up here 
Okay, so we do have two cameras, so I, forgive me if I'm only showing one at a time. We've got here, look at, there's the spoon of rice. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Hopefully it'll focus in. Either way, it's basically just raw rice, and it does have a very nice consistency, just like rice, but since we like to geek out with raw foods, this is one way that we can have rice. We actually just started to incorporate this into our diet this last year. Mm -hmm. We haven't had rice for the longest time. But then we learned about the black rice, the forbidden rice. And it's raw. And we're so, like, hey, okay. let's Why try not? it. Why not? Add more variety. It's oh. all good. It's all raw. Oh, so good. Um, somebody was saying that they just got their trays and all the stuff. They need to make the wraps. Yeah. If you got the bundle, you got my hand salads ebook, the brand new brand new hand salads ebook, which you can make wraps. So we're gonna do that tomorrow, we're gonna actually. Do that tomorrow. At 2 p.m. PST tomorrow, mm. we're gonna be showing how we prepare our wraps we'll for our hikes. Right here tomorrow yep. at 2 p.m. PST, yeah. we're going to uh, build the wraps, make the wraps, get them in the dehydrator, and then Sunday, we're gonna hike nearly 3,000 feet or over 3,000 feet <laughs> vertical climb to the top of this mountain that's just a, in the surrounding areas here of Las Vegas. And there's a cell phone tower up there, so we have excellent connection and we can go live. We'll broadcast live up there and eat our wraps and hang out with you guys who want to hang out. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be fun. Right, I yep. know. Someone is asking, we've got two questions. One person's asking if we're worried about the arsenic level mm. in the rice and if it's safe to eat raw. Good now, question. the answer to the um, arsenic, I am not worried about that kind of stuff. I. We don't eat this every day. We eat bloomed rice maybe like once a month. It's not like a regular thing that we do. And the freeze dried is more for uh, travel or for easy, right? Like we don't use this often, um, but even so, Lotus Foods is a really great company and you really wanna get high quality stuff that is tested to be low in heavy metals. And yeah, you can eat it raw. You just soak it, it's like, I don't know, I'd say 72 hours, especially if you do it under vacuum. And, and you've got bloomed rice and you can eat it raw. And I think that's an interesting thing that people think like, you can eat broccoli raw, you can eat corn raw, and like you can eat a lot of stuff. You can eat a lot of stuff raw, but we're taught that we need to cook it because people's gut microbiomes are weak. So cooking stuff can actually help digest, but it's about adding some raw to your cook and moving with your gut instead of just staying stagnant and just eating the cooked thing. Eat the cooked thing with a couple raw pieces in to help strengthen your gut microbiome. We, t we tend to think that our guts need like this big rest or that we shouldn't be like, you know, we're like tiptoeing around our gut, like we can't challenge it at all. But we challenge our lungs with breath work. Mm -hmm. We challenge our hearts with cardio. We challenge our mind with meditation. We challenge our muscles with weights. We challenge our bodies in good ways to grow, and our gut is no different. <laughs> so challenging it with smaller amounts of fibers can really help to strengthen your microbiome. Challenging it with new varieties of food, starting small. But yeah, so that's a little long answer to those two questions, but yep. and good you know, questions. You could eat this regularly, like Lisa says, we don't eat this too often, yeah. like you know, maybe like once a month or something. I'm just trying it's it out. It's really good. It's good, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's not, I, I trust Lotus Foods um, mm -hmm. for their rice, so I'm not too worried about it. It's yeah. not, um, and I don't like to worry. Can you read that one? Uh, I want to be 100% raw because it makes me feel the best, but I've heard that it gets rid of my mm. autism. I've heard that. Let me see. Yeah, Maybe a little can closer you read here. That? Yeah. Okay, so it's uh, Saxon saying, I, I want to be 100% raw because it makes me feel the best, but I heard that it gets rid of my autism, and I don't know that if I'm being honest, uh, we're good. It gets rid of my autism. Okay, and I don't. You know else. what? It so I have I have many talents and uniquenesses because of it. Okay, gotcha. I don't. I think it supports you as a human being. So who, however you are, your talents, your gifts aren't going to change when you go raw. You're going to support your body. And if you love those things about yourself, continue fostering those things about yourself. Sure. And you're supporting your body with optimal nutrition. That's it. That's really all it is. And then somebody was asking about the bloomed rice. Yes, it's bloomed because it's been soaked. It's like sprouted in a way. Yep, um, but it's still considered raw. It's considered raw. Because we didn't cook it, we just soaked it in water. And 
Um, yeah, we will name the uh, Lesota, we'll name the ingredients of everything that we're going to be using in today's meal. And then Rebecca's asking, do you think you can cure SIBO on a raw diet? Oh, SIBO is a really challenging one. I would recommend working with your practitioner for SIBO because the thing with SIBO is SIBO is small intestinal bacteria overgrowth. So the bacteria is actually in your small intestine where they're not supposed to be. So you need to get those guys under control because whenever you eat fiber, they eat the fiber and that's what causes a lot of pain in the higher area of your colon. So you really wanna work with your practitioner and get that under control first and then start to introduce more raw food and work with your colon gut bacteria. But it's a very, very, like yes, you can eat a lot of raw food on SIBO, but you have to work with, with your SIBO. practitioner and deal with the problem first and then move over to raw. It's like, some people think like, oh, if I go raw, everything's gonna be perfect. Right. But we have to work with where we're at and we have to fix certain imbalances or whatever first while we're moving over into a more raw diet and working with our bodies instead of trying to be all perfect and expecting the world from a raw food diet because a raw food diet like we said is just support for the body it's support so that you can express who you are and your body to the best that it can be instead of expecting to be perfect because we're about releasing labels here we're about loving ourselves our body and our food instead of expecting perfectionism and guarantees yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like she's saying, work with your practitioner, and it's definitely going to be raw food no matter what is a, is a really great support and a great way to optimize our, our health and diminish the percentage rate of possibly contracting some sort of you know issues in the future. It's just a great way to support yourself, but the biggest thing is is to eat appropriately, appropriate right. amounts of fiber, mm -hmm. you know, appropriate amounts of all the stuff. We got a big one on yours. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I, I, it's hard to see. Darn I know, it's hard to read from back here, but... I need, we need to get a little set of binoculars. That'd be I know, fun. I that'd be cool. <laughs> okay, oh yeah, Saxon says, yeah, thank you, but I meant uh, that a lot of my uniqueness comes from my autism and the way that I see things and think. I was actually uh, just wondering if eating raw gets rid of autism since I don't know that. Uh, you know, my question is something that isn't fully known yet. Yeah, I, I we don't know a lot I don't about know, it. I don't know. I I wouldn't. I you know, it's tricky. Like it would be it would be a f so fascinating and so amazing in so many ways if a raw food diet could reverse autism. But I've never heard that someone has reversed their autism with raw food. Another thing that everybody needs to be cautious of is absolute statements. Where, where somebody on social media or whatever says, this cures this. Because that's an absolute statement and it, it doesn't cure, it supports your body. And a lot of autistic people have, like it's part of who they are. And a raw food diet doesn't change your personality. It makes you happier. It makes you be able to express who you are even better. So when it's like curing something, I don't think that that's like, necessarily the case I think it's more about supporting your body and giving yourself the hydration the nutrition yeah. so that you can be you to the best of your ability yeah mm -hmm. right so good. yeah so I wouldn't be scared of raw food add more raw food we all know how important raw food is we'll get to you now if we're not <laughs> if we're not addressing your questions of course it's not like we're trying to ignore you the phones are on tripods like several yeah. feet away from us so it's hard to see um, even though we're raw foodies, our eyes, you know, we're, we're in our mid-40s. <laughs> we're still human. We're still human, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, now, but if there is something important that we didn't a answer you, right. just send us a direct message and address us, you know, there because we want to be able to help you any way that we can or at least turn you on to some information or other people who might know the answers that if we don't know the answers, because we don't know the answers to everything, obviously. Exactly, right? I know. But, and you know, we're, we're not here to diagnose and treat and right. everything. We're here to inspire you. We're here you. to do a food demo. We're here to inspire <laughs> you to eat more raw food. So, That's it, just yeah. more raw food, <laughs> definitely. Okay, so. So let's, let's see. first and foremost, <laughs> let's backtrack a little bit. If you did get the bundle, mm -hmm. high fives to Woo! you. Get into the Make It Raw 2 book the collaboration between chef aj and lisa and what page is this on um i don't know okay <laughs> it's uh, it's called the creamy tomato rice and beans creamy tomato rice and beans look for that recipe 
and you can open that up and you can follow along if you want. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we didn't prepare with the ingredients that you need, of course, because we want to make it exclusive for the people who have the bundle. If you did not get the bundle, be sure to click the link in our bio. Go get the bundle real quick. Come back and enjoy us making this up. You'll have over 400 of these amazing recipes. This is just one of right. possibly over 400 recipes mm -hmm. to make. And yeah. so, yeah, this is the creamy tomato beans and rice, which I'm really excited for. Yes. So now we've got our rice kind of soaking and just like absorbing some of the water. It's and we absorbed. also have the chunky portion of our tomato beans and rice mm. in the dehydrator right now. And it's been in there for about an hour, so it's a perfect amount of time. Right. How, long did, that, how long did it take you to get that together? Oh my gosh, like five minutes. It was honestly, it was honestly seven minutes and twelve oh, seconds. Oh, did you? Because <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna timer to see how long it takes to make that. So, I and mean, I was kind of putzing around. I wasn't so really. So it doesn't. Like, yeah, focused. five minutes to get the stuff in the dehydrator. Just that's what's cool with raw food. In a lot of ways, it can be very, very simple. It doesn't take a lot of time. Mm -hmm, exactly. That's what we like. We Ooh. just want to eat. We have busy lives, just like everybody else. You, all you guys out there, have busy lives. We don't want to be in the kitchen all in, you know, the entire day. There are some days we're in the kitchen quite a bit because we're prepping up fruit roll-ups or making crackers or different things that, you know, to stock up on. But when we want some lunch real quick, of course, we're hanging out with you guys. So this is going way longer than what it would be <laughs> yeah. if we were to just whoop it up, right? Mm -hmm. But hey, we love it. We're yeah. grateful that you're here. Thanks Definitely. to everyone who bought the bundle. Yeah. And thanks for everyone who's who maybe did get the bundle, but is just here to yeah. hang out and learn and get inspired because that's yeah. the whole point. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, to go to the website, click the link in the bio, go to the website, see all the lives that are happening because there's all kinds of different demos and interviews happening, and all of that's free. Mm -hmm. And, you know, maybe you can't get the bundle right now. Maybe it's just not something that's feasible for you, but you can at least hop in. And if you're on Instagram, you know, come check out what some of these crazy raw foodies are talking about. <laughs> exactly. But this collection is only available until May 11th. We won't be selling this collection ever again. So if yep. you did want it, even if like some people said like, I don't have a dehydrator, so I'm not gonna get the bundle. Mm -hmm. But in a way, like there's a lot of recipes in there that don't need a dehydrator. But if you, you I would highly recommend getting the bundle anyways, because maybe next year you're able to get a dehydrator and you'll be like, I'm so glad I got the bundle because now I have all these recipes for my dehydrator. Right. So that's something to keep in mind too, because we will not be selling this collection the way it is ever. Hey again. guys, Catherine Elizabeth 97 says, get the bundle. It's awesome. <laughs> Just listen to Catherine. She knows what's up. She's not BSing. So this bundle is wonderful. Betsy says it is such an amazing event an amazing collection from collaborators, collaborators from around the world. What size of freeze dryer do you have and how much space does it? So the freeze dryer that we have there, Kim is, um, it's the large, harvest right and it takes up the same amount of space as like a small apartment refrigerator mm -hmm. realistically like a wine refrigerator it's a very small and it sounds like an a AC refrigerator. unit when it's on yep it's basically like the sigh or the sound of like uh the dehydrator in a way yeah it's yep. like i consider it white noise noise doesn't like white noise stuff doesn't really bother me a lot so when people are like is it loud i'm like i don't even notice it but yeah. some people who are sensitive might notice it so yeah, i lot, you can't say whether it's loud a lot or of not. people will put it in their garage you know yeah. like up on a bench or something because yeah it does it has a pump and it's got a little condenser that runs but it's not very loud it's not much louder than our dehydrator we just keep it in the office yeah like listen says it's kind of like white noise doesn't even really phase us plus of course we're excited because we know that we have this amazing <laughs> raw food deliciousness that's going to be coming out in a freeze-dried form exactly Woo! so incredible great way to preserve food for a later date you know or if maybe you if you harvested a bunch of zucchinis or your neighbor's giving you a bunch of tomatoes, you could freeze dry the tomatoes and make tomato powder. Oh yeah. Make your own tomato make powder. Make your own tomato powder. You can go, there's a question on yours too. Make because... zucchini chips. Yeah. So you can make tomato powder in a freeze dryer. You can buy it, but. This is some tomato, tomato powder. Tomato powder is next level. It's super high in lycopene. And you know when people say like, well, you have to cook your tomatoes to get more lycopene. Actually, sun-dried tomatoes and tomato powder have more, more lycopene in it, yes. raw, raw, than cooked does. So if, if you, anyone ever has like the lycopene thing, just say sun-dried tomatoes have more lycopene. Sax so, that's so true. Mm -hmm. Saxon says here, what's the easiest recipes made in the dehydrator for students? Guess what? Oh, the wraps. The wraps. All the way. The wraps. The wraps are the easiest thing to do. Nate and I can make two wrappers 
in less than 15 minutes and then all you do is let it sit in the dehydrator overnight and you've got wraps to wrap up the next day. We're gonna be wrapping wraps tomorrow on our show at 2 p.m. PST because we're gonna be going hiking on Sunday. So we're gonna show you guys how we prep for our hikes with wraps. Yes. You don't want to miss that live. We're going to be here again tomorrow at 2 p.m. Wraps PST. are the best thing for students or people on the go. Because Anyone, really. Really. really is not but yeah, like if you're fig figuring you're going to school or something, you can have the wrap for lunch. It's so easy. I just wanted to show you guys this here is some zucchini chips. Sorry if this is the glare is insane because <laughs> I have the ring light going. But these here are just some freeze dried zucchini chips that we put a marinade on. These are delicious chips to eat. No salt. No salt, no oil, but they taste amazing and it's zucchini. So like yeah. I said, if you har that's why they have the Harvest Right has the best name because if you harvest right, <laughs> you can preserve the food mm -hmm. for, I mean, if it's stored properly, they say 20 to 25 years, it's shelf stable. And freeze drying retains up to 97% of the nutrition. So it's a really great way to preserve nutrition. And it's because it's done under vacuum. Yep, of course, vacuum. I mean, this, it's not done under yeah. this, but it's done <laughs> under vacuum. So there's no air that it's getting to it. So that's why it's retaining all of the nutrients. And it, yeah, like if it's stored properly with an oxygen absorber in a Mylar bag, stored properly, it, all the moisture is gone because you've checked it. It's a, it went through a perfect process. 20 to 25 years. Can you go through some of the questions on mine? <clears throat> There's three that I really want to answer. Okay. Um, yeah, go up a little bit. Okay, so up here it yeah. says here, where do you buy tomato powder or okay. do you make your own? So you can buy tomato powder online on Amazon. Just search tomato powder. Or, lots. or if you're in the States, check right. out the check out Winco. Winco Foods, they have a section of a lot of freeze-dried and dehydrated canned goods for mm -hmm. Um, food prep, like you know, storing on your in your pantry and stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. you can buy it on Amazon. There's yep, like Amazon. lots of places. Just search tomato powder. You're good. You can make your own. Um, you could make it with dehydrated tomatoes, but you get a better result when you use a freeze dryer. And I know not everyone has a freeze dryer. That's why yeah. I recommend just buying it. Buying um, the saving up. We saved up for over three years for our freeze dryer. Yeah. Now here, <laughs> um, Team Newman is asking here. Um, you know, wraps are good for the, the upcoming three-day conference. Yes. yes. Because you can make wraps up to three days. We don't really enjoy the wraps on the fourth day, but I mean, it's just like regular wraps anyways. On the fourth day, they're kind of eh. Um, but yeah, they are good. Once you wrap them up and you put them in the deli paper, you can eat them up to three days. And then Passion for Wellness asks here, how long can we access the courses on the bundle? So the courses in the bundle will be up as long as the creator keeps them up. So courses, obviously, like, you know, if, if the company who hosts the course goes out of business, then obviously the course will be moved over. And at which point, if anything ever happens, like Nate and I's courses are up until forever. Like we're, we're not going to take them down unless something happens to the internet or the company we use. The eBooks, however, are in PDF form. And once you download them onto your device, you have them forever as forever. long as you don't delete them. So back them up because you only have one year to download the content. Download, that, download everything right away. Yes, Download it all right away. So check us out here. Kim Smith's asking here, do you have anything we could print out about your raw bundles that we could hand out at our store? Pure Health Foods. This is a great question. And my suggestion, go ahead, babe, you tell them your suggestion. I would say the best suggestion is to point them to our links in our bios and just get them to watch the video on yeah, the website. That's it's what I was going to say. A four and a half minute video and it explains the bundle really well. So just get the link in either of our bios and just give that link to them because it takes them right to the website and yes. all the information is on the website. And yes, you do have those books forever. Once yes. you buy them and download them and put them in your own special folder, you will have them forever as long as you have them safe on that folder or on a PDF stick or whatever. You have them for life. It's yes. just like buying a paperback book and putting it on your bookshelf. But you have to download them in order to keep them forever. Yes, you have download to download. link only lasts for a year. And I think you have several download yeah. options. You, you, can, you can download it like what, like seven times? Yeah, or 10 like times or something. So you can download it onto your phone and then you can download it onto your laptop and then put it in Google Drive or Dropbox or a USB stick so that if anything happens to your main device, you can still access those files in five years or whatever. So Saxon here is asking, will the raw vegan wrap book get a physical copy? Yes. So 
the thing with the physical copy is it's I need to reformat the whole book because the digital version has links in it and you can't tap on a paper <laughs> book so I have to figure out a different way to do that I have to reformat it for print I need a different cover it's gonna take months to do that I'm thinking I'm hoping maybe late summer, early fall. It really depends on how much yeah. time I have. She's very it. ambitious, you know, <laughs> and she's so busy, but it is on it is on the board to get yeah. done, definitely. It, it will be in print. Mm -hmm. And yes, you could dehydrate the tomato and then whiz them in the Vitamix. You could do that to make your... Or a seed grinder. Yep, you that could do that good. to make your, your powder. They have to be rock hard, though. And for the bundle, go to our link. Just tap up here. Oh, hit us. Cool. Hit, you know, go to our, our main page. Go to the mm -hmm. link. Check it out. Grab it and you'll have it forever so so good so i'm going to scroll down here bundle bundle just get the bundle it's <laughs> going to be so amazing the courses are going to be available unless pay hip drops down and then shuts down you'll have the the courses forever and if anything happens to the course like if you click on the link in five years and it doesn't work contact the creator and say hey i bought the bundle you know like five years ago and i tried to access your course again but i'm not getting it they're gonna help you out they're probably gonna be like oh i had to move my course over to this new platform here's a new link or whatever yes so just remember you can always contact everybody in the bundle we're here to help you and yeah for for um i didn't see the name i'm sorry there but when you have her book or anybody's book with links the ebook itself those links, unless they change something in the book, you should get the updates. You'll have those links forever, like to your video, right, the links yeah. to the the links to the the, um, the silicone dehydrator sheets, and all that kind of stuff. But now, also sometimes the links change though. Like right. if some, like you know, if someone on Amazon, for example, the trays that we that we promote, yep. you get those on Amazon. But if the company that sells the trays on Amazon doesn't sell them anymore, then, the link's not going to work. But in those yep. cases, just send us a DM send and we'll DM. help you out. Yeah, very yep. possibly you can also search out some other ones you mm -hmm. might find. But you know, a lot of times we do like to periodically go in and update our catalog to make sure that those links are working. But yeah, exactly. Send us a DM or an email or something, and we're going to help you try to get the the, the sheets, you know, either way. Yeah. Okay, so. All right, we gotta blend this. We gotta get going. We're getting hungry. Like, we've got other stuff we've got going on, too. We'd love to just answer all your guys' questions all day long. I wish we had someone to curate this and, like, you know, ask us the questions that are coming through. So, you know, like I said, if there's something important that we didn't address that you would like us to answer, uh, you know, from our perspective, right, because it's just our perspectives, mm -hmm. then send us a DM. But, yeah, yeah let's get on okay, to this recipe. Okay, let's get on to this recipe. Okay, so we always add liquid to the blender first. We always add the more liquidy, watery stuff first. So we've got a cup and a half of water, and you guys can write this down or open the Make It Raw ebook in yeah. the bundle. If so you, you haven't got along. the bundle, and you don't want to get the bundle, but you want this recipe, get your notepad out right yeah. now and write down. Write we're, gonna it give down. You, we're gonna give you the entire recipe for this for this uh, this meal here. So then we have one Roma tomato. And the reason you want to put all your liquidy stuff in there first is because that's going to blend easier than putting solids down there first and pouring your water on top. Everything that is watery is on the bottom. Yeah. Works best. And then we have one jalapeno. If you don't like it spicy, take the seeds and the pith out. We like it spicy though, so we're putting the whole thing in there. Then Here's we the have... Huh? Oh, okay. I got, I got the trash here. <laughs> then we have four pitted medjool dates. Make sure you pit them. Make sure you pit them. <laughs> So we've got four dates. I know probably a few of you know what it's like out there when you're hearing something clack around oh, in your Vitamix and like, you know, oh. one of the pits for some reason got in there. Right. We got two cloves of garlic and you mm. can start slowly with the garlic if you need to. We like a lot of garlic <laughs> so we could have even probably gone with four cloves. <laughs> totally, right? This is a quarter cup of sun-dried tomatoes. Sun-dried tomatoes. Now these are store-bought, oil-free, in a bag. We did not make these ourselves. We love getting those because we go through a lot of sun-dried tomatoes. But you can make your own too. You can make your own though. And then we have a quarter cup of walnuts. Mm. So there's some walnuts Delicious. in there. That's what's going to make this creamy. <laughs> and it's not a lot. I mean, it's not like we're eating a ton of it. Yeah. Uh, quarter, fats and stuff, cup. right? Quarter cup. It's not bad. Okay, then it's like the magic ingredient, which is the tomato powder. And split between Ooh. the two of us, that would be two tablespoons of walnuts each. Yeah, which is... It's really That's decent. It's pretty good. Um, and then we have a tablespoon of miso mm. paste. 
And I did a live with Raw Chef Yin. It's on my YouTube channel, or you can find it on her page at Raw Chef Yin, where we talk about why we include fermented foods, miso, Excellent. raw, unpasteurized tempeh, and uh, like things like sauerkraut and stuff, and why we believe that they're appropriate on a raw vegan diet. So if you want to check that out, um, you can. And then we're gonna do, we've got onion powder and black pepper. So there's a teaspoon of onion powder and an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper in there. Fresh ground pepper. Fresh ground. We like the till cherry. It's like, so good. you know, the, the poshy black pepper. But we also like the pink pepper because the pink, the pink pepper is actually um, really good for the gut microbiome. So you might have to unplug that if we want to do it. We can. Oh, okay. Well, well actually, here, I was going to vacuum okay. it. Let's just unplug it real quick <laughs> and we'll talk about it real quick. Okay. Okay. So in my kitchen course, Raw Vegan Kitchen Essentials, which is in the bundle, make sure you go grab the bundle and check out the kitchen course. This has been a massive upgrade for us that took us years to actually pull the trigger and just do it. <laughs> and we wish we did it. We earlier. wish we would have done it sooner. So this is a narrow base craft that fits on the uh, Legacy series, the older series of Vitamix bases. And what it is, is it's a special lid. As you can see, it's got the silicone ring around there, which is a nice tight seal, airtight seal. And it also has a, uh, a, a stronger, more beefy, more heavy duty bearing in the bottom because you use this vacuum on top and we vacuum out all of the air. So as you can see, there's a lot of empty space in there. If we just blended right now, we're blending air into our mixture which it's not going to last as long. It's not gonna be as thick and as creamy. So this is the BioChef. Now there is a DynaPro, uh, different kind of a vacuum blender, but this right here, coupled with these lids to store your smoothie or your juice or your dressing, the, the pump comes with it, 16 of these lids that fit on the wide mouth mason jar. This, this here, is absolute game changer. I would have bought this the very first month that I made the decision to be committed to this diet, mm -hmm. to this you know lifestyle. Yeah, exactly. I know they're they're game changing. Someone's game asking changing. which recipe this is. If you bought the bundle, I'll vacuum this. Okay. The only place that you can get this book right now is in the bundle. It's called Make It Raw Two, and it's the ebook that I wrote with Chef AJ, special for this bundle. All this stuff's going to be available after the bundle, but you're going to be paying full price for them. If you buy the bundle, you get everything new for only 50 bucks. The link is in our bios or in the description box below if you're watching on YouTube. So yeah, get the bundle. It's amazing. It's got my Raw Vegan Wraps ebook in it. It's got this Make It Raw 2 uh, where we're making the creamy tomato rice and beans and we've got our bloomed rice that we we had it free, freeze dried, but you can just make it fresh. Um, and then we have also our lentil sprouts, which we sprouted and we froze them. So we learned this trick from Chris Kendall. And Chris Kendall has a book in the bundle too. It's uh, Sweet and Savory Stews. And in there he shows about how you want to freeze your beans. Because if you freeze your beans, then when you thaw them, they have the same texture or consistency as steamed or cooked beans. So there, it's a really cool way to incorporate some sprouts into your diet if you're missing that texture of lentils. Okay, so our vacuum is done now. So yeah, the vacuum is done. Now that vacuum, this vacuum actually, you know, you can um, throw six AA batteries in it and not plug it in, but I don't have the double A's in there mm -hmm. and, or do I? Nope, I don't. So I had to plug it into the wall and that's a great way to do it. But as you can see, this here, this lid is sucked down. Yeah, it actually like sucked into the container. There's no air. The we container even sucks in a yeah. little bit on the sides too. I wish that I could just try to like, you know, show you guys how amazing this is. I wish you were all here in person so you can watch this. So we're gonna blend this, it's gonna be loud for a second. And I did see someone say in there, I didn't see their name. They said they got your book. They made the wraps. They're completely amazing. They appreciate your, all your hard work. Aww, all thanks, the love you guys. to it. We love you. And, and thank you for buying the bundle. Thank you for your support. And thank you for making compassionate choices for yourself and wanting to add more raw food to your diet. It means the world to us. We love that you want to make positive changes. So I'm going to blend this. Now, normally, we like to blend this for two minutes. If you blend it for two minutes, the friction of the blades actually warms up 
the sauce so you can have a warm um, stew or soup or curry or whatever you're making. We're not going to blend it for two minutes because that's going to be boring for you guys. So we're just going to blend it really quick um, and then we'll show you how we put together the creamy tomato rice and beans that you can find the recipe for in the bundle in the Make It Raw 2 ebook. Normally we blend it for two minutes so that it um, warms up from the friction of the blades. Nate's going to undo the vacuum for you to hear oh, how yeah. it is. First, but I just first. grabbed these out of the dehydrator. So we've got our, which look like potatoes. Those are sunchokes. This is the root of a certain sunflower. We've got tomatoes and some carrots. Yes. So those are out of the dehydrator. We'll talk about that tray in a second. Those are the trays you want for the wraps. But listen to this. This is under vacuum, right? Letting the air back into it. That is going to make the, all the difference in the world. Oh back. my gosh. Once you go back, you don't go <laughs> back. You don't go back. So these here, as you can see, these are a silicone tray that fits right on top of the mesh tray for the Excalibur dehydrator. These are kind of formulated for that particular model. I'm not sure if they do fit like Sedona or anything like that. You're going to get different sizes though. But these are what makes those wraps. If you guys have been tuning in and seeing her wraps, you know, the, it's linked in her book, but man, they have been such a game changer, these, mm -hmm. these trays. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these have been in the dehydrator for about an, a little over an hour, which is perfect. But if you want to know how we made these, like the sun chokes have been marinated and frozen. The carrots were frozen from fresh and we just chopped some uh, cherry tomatoes and that's all we did we have the marinated sunchokes the carrots and the tomatoes on here and we let it dehydrate for about an hour to soften and to enhance the flavors now if you have the bundle and you are you have the make it raw 2 ebook the recipe and the instructions to make this part is in there um, but that's basically what we did and we marinated the um, sunchokes in like lemon juice and herbs like you can marinate in it in anything you want really so here we go. Woo. And freezing is, it, it, it's another way to level up. Like if you want some soft tasting or, you know, texture foods like cauliflower or carrots, some of those are kind of harder. Onions or too. Or the sun chokes, the onions. Freeze them first and then when they thaw, they're, they're like, it's almost like they've been lightly steamed. Mm -hmm. I know, they're awesome. So now that we have that done, we can add the rice and the beans that's oh. the whole point of it right rice the, the, the creamy tomato rice and beans with veg so we've got so our good. soaked um yeah. bloomed rice wait this is bloomed rice yeah you don't have to use the freeze dried if you guys saw that part yeah you just bloom it it takes about three days to bloom it so if you want to make this recipe you have to do a little planning yeah. but it doesn't take long to put them in a jar of water so yeah and, it, and it's and if when you are blooming you know look up on google like how to bloom black rice mm -hmm. really you want to rinse it you know, yeah. a couple and then times. nick it like you said in the food processor because it really helps absorb the water yeah better. if you do take the raw rice throw it in the food processor and just pulse it real quick chop chop then it just yeah nicks the the rice granules and it'll absorb that water even faster but that is a great way to eat raw rice to eat right rice raw and then we've got our sprouted lentils frozen mm. which are so incredible same thing you know like we're learning stuff from each other we learned yeah. that trick from chris we would freeze basically all kinds of vegetables, but he really recommends that for his stews, which cravings busters, savory soups and stews in the bundle. And I'm telling you, I mean, I shouldn't, oh. I'm not trying to tell you. <laughs> but for me personally, man, the stews that we've had, we've had three different ones out of his book. And I'm like, this is going to be so amazing. To I want to freeze dry some. So we have them for the trail too. Like oh, just make yeah, the stew. Totally pour it in the tray, freeze dry it, and then we can stack it in like a, a Mylar bag. We wouldn't use glass jar on the trail. And then just reconstitute it. We will have his stews. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we are going to add the tomato, the creamy tomato 
uh, base for our meal here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes. Look at that. Did we get mm -hmm. a spatula? No. Oh, we don't. There's one over there. <laughs> here we go. Mm. Spatula. We want to get it all. Yeah, we've got to get it all. It's going to be delicious. Oh my gosh. And I don't know if you guys are into 80s music. We got 80s rock <laughs> in the background. We were, both, we were both born in the 70s. Might want to fix that. Nate's getting a call from a spam. <laughs> got a spam call. So his, yeah. There sorry, we go. Sorry about you that. You should be okay now. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys, on Nate's um, Instagram. And there was okay, a call cool. that... Yeah, so now we so can now, mix it up. Yeah, we're just going to mix this up. And of course, like Lissa says, when you're doing the, the um, blend for the tomato, the creamy tomato, it is nice to, to let it go for the full two minutes because it does warm it up pretty nicely. And if you did want to actually want to have this to be kind of a warm dish, you can plate it up in your bowl and then just toss the bowl, well, toss it, <laughs> set it in the dehydrator for a little bit longer and it warms up the bowl and it, you know, all of your, it just condenses it. Dehydrating it a little bit more afterwards is, just makes it that much more amazing, especially if you're in a cold climate or something. Mm -hmm. That's a nice warm dish. But there we go. This is mixed, mixed up and ready. Oh, it smells amazing. I'm mega excited. So excited. So yeah, I wanna. Okay. All right, so these are our bowls and we're going to fill them with the creamy tomato mm. rice and beans so that you can get from the Make It Raw 2 ebook in the bundle. Right now, this is the only place that you can get the bundle. We will sell our ebooks and courses after, but you won't ever be able to get 40 brand new things for 50 bucks. This collection is very unique and very special, and it's only here until May 11th. So if you want to get over, there's over 400 new recipes, including my wraps. All the wraps. And there's a stew. There's over 100 recipes in her wrap book. Yeah, right? There's 33 wraps, but each wrap, it's like the wrapper, the filling, the sauce, suggested toppings. Cheese. So there's cheese. There's cheese recipes, <laughs> how to make raw vegan fermented cheese, how to make fermented sauerkraut, how to sprout. There is so much information in that book, and I saw someone back there say they bought the bundle just for your book. Oh, thank you. I hope you enjoy all the other stuff too. There's a lot of There's other amazing so stuff. stuff. One thing that we strive to do is when we get the bundle, it can be a little overwhelming because there's so much. We try to tap into um, someone's book, someone's recipe book or their course and give it attention for one week, mm -hmm. at least one week and start to make some of the recipes, which if you want to see some of the recipes that we've been making mm -hmm. from the recipes that we have found inside the bundle, be sure to check out our YouTube channel, Raw Natty Nate, Melissa's Raw Food Romance, and we've been putting videos up every single day of the different recipes of what we ate for breakfast, lunch, and dinner from the recipes that we found inside the bundle. It's yeah. Been delicious. It has been delicious, and it's a great way for you guys to see what else is in the yeah. bundle. I've had multiple people message and say, I really love that you're doing these What We Eat in a Day videos because it helps them to open the books and right. try the recipes. To see. And yeah. someone's asking, they really love jicama lately. Are there mm. recipes in the bundle? Oh There's actually quite a few jicama recipes. Your mom has that. Oh. The, the the beet jerky is made with jicama and the, the sticky, the jackfruit sticky rice from Yin That's has good. jicama in it. So there are some jicama recipes in there. The jicama slaw, yeah. The jicama slaw I want like every day. <laughs> and especially in the summertime, it's refreshing. Oh, yes. It's cool, it's delicious, it's crisp. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, the sticky rice is um, also on day one of oh, what right. we ate in a day from the bundle. So if you want to see the video, of what we ate in a day, go to our YouTube channels and watch. We both, you know, we're like in separate rooms editing our videos, <laughs> and, but basically it's the same meals. We just yeah. edited it a little differently, but yeah, that recipe is bomb. Mm -hmm, it is. So good. All right, let's do a taste test. Okay, so here we go. I've got my favorite wooden spoon, which you guys will learn all about this spoon in the course. And here we go. Mm, I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I don't know, guys. He's joking. He's joking. Mm, I don't know. Something's off. He's joking. No, I'm so joking. The flavor profile. <laughs> I'm not like the best 
critic of mm -hmm. how to mm -hmm. describe the flavor profiles. You know, like there's those food critics that are really, really good at talking about mm. the hints and the flavor. This is bursting with flavor. Mm. The beans, the rice, the the sun chokes. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so good. I can't even. You guys, I really hope you're able to make this. Mm. It's so good. And mm. this is, is this one of Chef AJ's recipes? Yeah, so the Make It Raw 2 ebook is actually Chef AJ's recipes made raw. So what I did was I took some of Wait. what? Look at Jai Jai back here. <laughs> Our cat right here, he's getting the pineapple. He's eating the pineapple, uh, the top. <laughs> Chai Chai. He wants to be in the video. He wants to be in the, he wants to be in the live. So with Make It Raw 2, I, I, I paired up with Chef AJ to write this book because Chef AJ eats a lot of cooked food. And I wanted to try some of her recipes and I was like, I could probably make them raw. So what I did, I like just started making her recipes raw and I was like, let's just make a book where I take your recipes mm. and I make them raw. So good. And this is one of 28 recipes that you get in that ebook that right now you can only buy in the bundle, which is in the link in bio or description. And can mm. you make them cooked too, or they're all raw? That Mine was, are raw. <laughs> that was a different one, huh? Where it was like one cooked one. Oh raw. yeah, that was a course that we did. Okay. Yeah, but no, this this ebook is all raw. The bundle is all raw. All raw. No all fat. New. Oil, no oil. Oil free. Mm -hmm. This is so filling. And, Isn't it feeling? And it's really tasty. Mm. This is a really awesome meal to serve up to some of your friends or loved ones who don't eat raw food. Don't tell them it's raw vegan. It's mm. not going to hurt them. But you know, you can have them taste this. Because yeah, I feel like some people, if they're if they know that it's vegan or if it's raw vegan, they may be like, I don't know if I like it. Mm -hmm. But I feel like there's been times I've given some food to friends, and it's like I don't need to tell them that it's raw vegan. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like rude. It's just here's some food. That's I, good. I feel like it doesn't work the other way around. If someone knows you're vegan, right, and then they're giving you like some animal products and they don't tell you about it, that would be a little rude. But this, I don't feel like is rude because it's healthy, delicious plants. Right. I know. Right. It's a different way of preparing, and it's so delicious. This is really good. I think people would be like, wow, mm. like what is that? This right here, mm. seriously, freeze dried, bring it on the trail if you're into backpacking or mountain biking and that kind of stuff. It should be a great meal to have with you. Mm -hmm. I mean, even if you were doing just an outing, you could put it in a jar, throw the vacuum sealable lid on it, mm -hmm. have it later. Mm. Mm hmm really good oh my gosh so thanks guys mm -hmm. for joining um thank you for buying the bundle thank mm -hmm. you for hanging out with us um mm -hmm. we're gonna be back tomorrow at this time exactly 206 mm -hmm. <laughs> um where we're gonna be wrapping our wraps for our hike on sunday so we're gonna talk about hiking and prep for camping and wrap stuff we're gonna t we're gonna show you how we wrap our wraps you're gonna to get to see all that tomorrow at 2 p.m. PST. So grab the bundle so that you can make this mm. and so that you get the hand salads ebook so you can make wraps. And you could, if you, get this, if you bought the bundle right now and you downloaded my hand salads ebook and you picked a wrap to make and you bought the recipe or all the ingredients for and it. And trays. And trays. Well, you don't really necessarily need the trays. They're really nice, but if you don't have trays, you can still use a Teflex sheet. It's mm -hmm. totally fine. If you bought it right now, tonight, at around, I don't know, maybe you know, about five hours from now, blend the wrapper part and put it in the dehydrator. And then tomorrow, when we go live with you, you could wrap your wraps with us on live so if you want to do that get the bundle right now download my hand salads ebook choose a wrap get the ingredients and blend the wrap tonight in about like i said in about five hours from now is a great time to start doing that if you're able to because it needs about 12 hours and then at two o'clock tomorrow pst you can wrap your wraps with us you can fill it with whatever you want you can have whatever sauce you want but just make the wrapper and then and then hang out with us and we can all wrap together. That would be really fun. Mm. We love. Mm -hmm. We love the the wrap. Yes, mm. you're so welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Mm -hmm. 
Like I said, sorry if we didn't get to all of your questions. If there was something you really wanted us to answer, you wanted to hear you know, our thoughts on something, just send us a direct message. Mm -hmm. We'd be like, yo, I was in your live doing the live food demo. I was wondering about, you know, da, 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 right? Mm -hmm. And we'll do our best to help you answer those questions. Um, but yeah, definitely, I, I mean, as someone who is a foodie, get the bundle. This bundle's amazing. I feel like a lot of bundles, any bundle that I've ever really seen are really scream and deal. It's a great way to get a lot of information or a lot of products, uh, you know, for a, just a scream and deal. Mm -hmm. Over $1,800 worth of new, never released products in this bundle. Right. To where after this, here in six days, Everybody's going to be selling it on their own platforms mm -hmm. for their full price. Mm -hmm. So this is the time to get it and you just start adding some more delicious foods into your day-to-day -day life. Right? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Mm. Mm. So good. Mm. So good. Mm -hmm. Love all of you. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow we'll be live at 2 p.m. Um, this making time. wraps this time. Yep, tomorrow. In 24 hours we're going to be making wraps right here mm -hmm. on this very counter. Getting ready for our hike on Sunday. Yeah. Oh, and what's going to happen Sunday? What people going to mark their calendars Sunday? Mm. Why? Yeah, mark your calendars. Yeah. Why? Oh, oh, you're asking me. Yeah. I thought you were asking me. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to take off early in the morning. We got about an hour drive, hour maybe 15 minute drive to the trailhead, and we're going to be hiking about 3,000, maybe a little over 3,000 vertical feet to the top of this mountain. We're in Las Vegas, so there's lots of beautiful surrounding mountains around Vegas. We're going to go to the top of one of these mountains. We're going to have an amazing view. It's supposed to be a beautiful day. And we're going to eat our wraps up there and go live with you. Broadcast live, answer questions, just hang out, eat our lunch. And uh, we like to nerd out like that. So mm -hmm. that's what we're doing on Sunday. So we're prepping for that trip tomorrow. Yeah, so come join us. We're planning on going live Sunday at noon. But bear with us because we're climbing um, like 3,000 feet. So we might be like 1230 or one. It depends. We're going to really aim to try to go live at noon. That's our goal. But if we're not live at noon, know that we're going to be live soon. So, and that's Pacific time, by the way. Mm. Yeah, PST. Yeah. And yeah, like I said, again, maybe if some of you guys are just popping in, go check out our YouTubes. Check out everybody else's lives and stuff that they've got going on. I'm not sure who else is doing some YouTubes daily, but Lisa and I were like, we need to go daily on YouTube showcasing what we're eating from the recipes that we've found inside the bundle. So every single day is different. Be sure to come check out our YouTube channels mm -hmm. and uh, leave us a comment. Let us know, you know, like, hey, I watched your live. You told me to come over here. I saw the video. You guys are awesome or whatever. You guys suck. I don't want, I don't want to see your <laughs> stuff anymore. You know, you guys are, I don't know why you guys are doing what you're doing. Thanks for the engagement. It's all about the engagement. But yeah, we want to showcase some of these meals in a more streamlined uh, way. Mm -hmm. And we have been eating so good. You guys got to get the bundle. Not that we don't eat good I know, day. but it's just really nice. That's another thing we love about the bundle is we get to experience the flavor profiles of 40 people. Mm -hmm. There's 40 ebooks and course, some of them are courses that don't have recipes, but for the most part, there's over 400 recipes. And like Chris Kendall has a different flavor profile. Mm -hmm. Daniel McKinnon has a different flavor profile. My mm -hmm. mom's recipes have a different Matt. profile. Matt Miriam, and Emma and Emma. Rennie and Jesse, like everybody has different ways of making raw. Lena. And Lena, oh Next my God. Next level pasta. Yeah, like mm -hmm. there's so many cool recipes in there that you guys can find some mm -hmm. new favorites. It doesn't have to be our wraps. It can be Chris's stew, or it can be Lena's pasta, or whatever. There, there definitely is at least a half a dozen of different kinds of cheese recipes mm -hmm. in there, and I'm, I, I'm mm -hmm. like a sucker for raw vegan cheeses, man. Mm -hmm. I love raw vegan cheese. Yeah, and um, somebody's saying, I appreciate the showcasing of the different mm. foods yeah. and everyone else doing it too. Yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. and that's why, like this is not just, we're not just selling the bundle for our stuff. We're trying to showcase the beauty of the raw vegan diet through the perspective of different people. So getting the bundle really expands the variety that you're going to eat and the flavor profiles. Mm -hmm. And we want to share about like what everyone else is doing because everyone has their own unique way of doing raw. And then like you can incorporate it into your life. Again, you don't have to be all raw to enjoy it, but it's like, I'm glad you appreciate those videos. What's cool <laughs> is this bundle is oil free, 
in most of the recipes, the majority of the recipes are very, uh, they're like there's an appropriate amount of fat mm -hmm. within them. It's not a real high fat gourmet style of raw uh, mm -hmm. recipes and bundle. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is an amazing, I, I mean, I had a live with Matt and Chris and you know, we're like, man, what would we have done if we were, you know, tapping into the raw diet and we had something like this that we could access. Mm -hmm. this, this just takes the thinking out of it for you. Mm -hmm. There's no thinking. The only thinking you have to do is, do I want to do this? Once you make up your mind that you do want to do this, even for just one week, like what if you challenge yourself, if you don't eat raw food, you challenge yourself just to eat, you know, a, a raw for a one week. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, like listen, I say, we wouldn't, you know, like serve you up and be like, you should eat like us today and every day for the, from, from here on out, excuse me, because depending on where you're at, where you're starting at, this is very high fiber food, mm -hmm. and you know, people who don't eat a lot of high fiber raw foods can kind of have some issues. Right. Uh, so it is best to start off slowly. Mm, yeah, to try a different book mm -hmm. each week. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Someone's asking what the music is. <laughs> oh, sorry if the music's messing with you mm -hmm. guys. We like to bust out in the kitchen. It's just 80s playlist. I the qual know. Oh, this is your mom. Oh the, my gen God. the gentle homeopath. She's over here on my side. She says the quality of creativity in this bundle is superb. I'm so impressed. I love to try others' recipes, and we've been having so much fun with your recipes, Lori. Thanks, Ma. Yeah. You guys buy the bundle. Look at these here. Yeah. I'll show you a couple of the things. Mm. We still have them mm. here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, mm -mm. don't want to drop it. Mm -hmm. Look here. This is some. This is some. Uh, what did she call it? This is the beet jerky. This is the beet jerky. It's made out of jicama, right? And it's got like all kinds of delicious stuff in there. You throw that in the wrap, it's good. And then look at these. These are bacon bits, rad bacon bits mm -hmm. made out of radish. This is something I never would have thought of in a million years. And she has a recipe in her book and she's got that jicama slaw. We've been really enjoying her recipes and we haven't even tapped into everybody's stuff. It's been absolutely amazing. Like there's over 400 recipes. So mm -hmm. come on, make so many in two and weeks. <laughs> the music, this is one thing that I personally really like to do. If I have to do dishes, which the dishes never seem to end, <laughs> ever, like laundry, it's, it's forever. At so least raw food's easy to The rest of your life, you're washing dishes and doing laundry. Mm -hmm. But I like to bump music. I, I love music. So we have 80s rocking in the background. <laughs> this is actually on Spotify. It's Hold Me Now Radio. Um, Hold Me Now Radio. <laughs> but it's basically just 80s music, kind of upbeat, a little bit, you know, like high vibe. And that's a great way to like get stuff done in the kitchen. Maybe you've got some prepping to do, you don't feel like it, throw in your favorite song, take a deep breath, be grateful that you can, you have a kitchen, and you right. have a sink, mm -hmm. and you have these things to be able to do these things, and then just do it to it, make the recipe, and you're gonna be just yum, loving yum, it. Yum, 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 mm. so thanks guys. We're gonna sign off now. Thank you so much. If you have any other questions, like Nate said, send us a DM. We're happy to help you get the bundle. Link is in our bio or in description. So you can make some delicious raw mm. food and we love you. Come back. Um, I'm gonna be live at 4 p.m. PST today. So like in an hour and 45 minutes with Sachi, we're gonna be talking about self-love and so overcoming good. eating disorders. That's, so that's going to be, be amazing. A good oh, one. Oh my gosh. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And, and I don't have any yeah. more lives today. I'm headed straight to the office after lunch <laughs> to edit more videos to put up for you guys of what we ate today, and then we've got our I've got a playlist, uh, raw vegan common struggles playlist, which Lisa does as well. Mm -hmm. Just different questions we've been compiling over the years, and wanted to address those. So we do have daily YouTube videos coming out right now, and I need to get to work to edit uh, uh, some more <laughs> what I ate today is to be able to have these coming up. My uh, what I ate today is coming out today at five. Lisa's already came out at noon. Yep, exactly. So you can see. You can see what we ate for day five on the Raw Vegan Bundle, from the Raw Vegan Bundle. Yes. And yeah, you guys, we will see you tomorrow here. I'll see you back here. Well, actually, for those of you tuning in, if you want to come to my Grow Along. Right. Tomorrow, Saturday. I'm not going to do the Grow Along Sunday, and I'll let you guys know about that tomorrow. But 8 a.m., Grow Along on my channel. And if you want to know who's going live and what time, go to the links, go to the website, click the events schedule so you can see who's going live with who, what time, and what they're gonna be talking about. And if you wanna tune into one, like mm -hmm. this is this one coming at four is going to be amazing. Yeah. I'm actually going to be uh, trying to stream it live on our backup phone. So I, <laughs> as I'm editing, I can just kind of, I can absorb what they're talking about. Yeah, we have a backup phone. So we use this for like extra pictures when our other phones are ready. But, um, oh, I was gonna say. Two, two o'clock. 
Two o'clock tomorrow. tomorrow. That's what I was going to say. You read my mind. Two o'clock tomorrow, PM, PST. If you guys buy the bundle, download my hand salads ebook, choose a wrap, and get it in in the next five hours so that you can wrap wraps with us live tomorrow, 2 p.m. PST. So. Yeah, because we're making them. We're yeah, make, we're making them tonight. We're making, and we're going to wrap them tomorrow. We're making them tonight. Wrapping, they're going to dehydrate all night long. Tomorrow at lunchtime, we're going to be right here. We're going to roll them up. And we're going to wrap them up for our hike on Sunday. And for lunch tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we're going to make, we're going to make we're two gonna, recipes. Yep. So we'll have four wraps because each recipe makes one mm. or makes two wraps. So amazing. So yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. And we talk so much. We'd be on here for like another hour. I know. And we love need you to guys. finish. We got stuff to do, but we love you guys. Mwah. Mwah. See you soon. Thank you so much. Yes. And fruit on. Woohoo. <laughs> Yay. And now. <laughs>